activate the ritual m marker? How? How do I activate it? Oh wait, right there. Activate. Looks like each marker points to another. Giving directions. Got it. Is this blue gleam? No, give me some blue gleam. Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. Is this how's it producing light? I'm not sure. Time for to help guide the way with sound. If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Ooh. I don't see any. What is that? Supply crate? No. Okay. These caves look gorgeous. Not gonna lie. Okay, so which way do I go? This way, maybe? Better go back. After I grab this loot. I like the way she thinks. No, not that. This way. Blaze. Good. I got some more blaze. I just hope I get a stash where it's like gives me a ton of it. Wrong way. Seven more blaze. I'll take it. So if it's not this way, then where do we go? Huh. Okay, so I guess it's not directions then. It did have chimes. She said something about the chimes. Wait, do I have to climb? I do. Wait, there's a way over here too. What's in here? This isn't the way out. Some gear though. More blaze. Okay, well. I gotta go up there. But how do I climb up there? Here? I can't really see in, in here, so. I don't really know. It's definitely up there somehow. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Got it. So I gotta find another chime somewhere. Where could it be though? That's pretty cool, though. Wait, is there another road? There is. I missed this part. Oh, we're out. We're on the top now. Yeah, we. This is where we were. Got it. Makes sense. I missed an entire section. I guess maybe I should slow down because I was running through everything. And, well, long story short, running through everything really kind of sort of screwed me over a little Another bit. Another marker. Good. Wait, where? Aloy, where did you see it? I need your assistance. Oh, is it this thing? Let's activate it. Okay, that way then. But then, is it left or right? Oh. Okay, it's pointing in this direction. So this is the way. Then maybe that way? Kind of tempted to go this way though, so I'm going to check it out real quick. Wait. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, I figured. So let's go back and hit the side of the chimes. It's weird that I have to follow the chimes and the little light the chime. post. Not sure I saw this folk before. Okay. We've got to be getting closer, right? Not this way. But then, where? Hmm. Oh, right there. See? Up. Ready? Let's go. Well, that was a fail. Aloy, jump over there. There we go. It's getting a little bit more complex. All right, this is it right here. What is that? Uh-oh. It's a daem demonic, too. If I fall, I'm going to have a battle. They're not very tough, though. Well, who knows? Maybe the demonic ones are going to be a lot more difficult. So you never know. I got to be careful regardless. The shaman's path. Dead end. But at least there's stuff. Oh, full health potion. Absolutely take that. You never know when that's going to come in handy. It's telling me to go back that way, but let's peek around this corner. No, this has to be it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It didn't find me, right? I don't think it did. Oh, fuck! Get out of here. Go away. That's, that's, oh god, he's not dead yet. Woo, I'm literally just winging it because I can't see anything. Oh my god, there's another one. I see you, homeboy. Oh! Take us... Oh, God. Come on. Man, I really have to freaking... Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Crap. So, let's not piss them off this time around. I don't have enough room to fight them properly. So let's not, let's not piss them off. Hold on. Is this one activated? It is, and I think I went this way. And then this is the one where I had to go around this way. Yep, all right, good. At least it's not too far from where I died. All right, definitely going into sneak mode. Be careful. The question is, where do we go? Oh crap, it's over there. So I was going in the right direction. The only problem is, I kind of, sort of, can't get caught. And there's nowhere to hide down here either, so. I'll be screwed. Can we activate this? Quietly? You've got to be kidding me. I have to go that way? Uh-oh. 
Nugget Lamb. Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, that's. Come on. Let's go. Get away from me. There we go. Come on. Oh, get out of here. I killed one of them and the other one killed me. There has to be a way to kill him. Actually, you know what? I think there might be a way. Get past these <gasps> one way uh oh. I got an idea. Where are they? Right there. Oh, I can't even shoot from up here. So there's one there and... What is that? What the hell was that? Oh! Oh, oh! Okay then, Run, running it is. Running it definitely is. Go back to sneak, they're not gonna find me. At least I made it. A little cheaty, but hey, whatever. Done with the cave. So what's next on this path? I don't know, hopefully no more da daemonics. One thing I do need, though, is a, uh, a way to disarm them. I mean, I guess I could. I could override them. Oops. Oh, man, I'm going to die. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. I fell. <laughs> At least there's an easy way up. I missed what she said, though. I didn't really hear her. Um. Okay, go around this. I gotta figure out how to destroy that thing, though. Or at least make it to where I can cross. Oh! Really? Yep, I figured. I have no idea what happened there. Like, at all. Luckily, though, it should have checkpoint pointed right when I left the cave. I couldn't be mistaken. I hope I, I hope that's the case. And it didn't. Come on, buddy. Where is he? I think he's coming. I think he's coming. Well, he's definitely down there. Are they coming? I don't care. I'm re Oh, get the fuck out of here. I really thought that one was gonna go around. Should I just run for it? Let's try that. Let's try to run for it. Those things hit ridiculously hard. Go away. Go away. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, run. Okay, I made it. That was close, though. 
Hopefully they don't chase me. Oh, this should checkpoint, right? Yeah, I figured it was this way. I didn't even have to use that to be able to go in this direction, but I'll take all of this. Looks like it needs to fill up with water. Fill with water. So there's a chime right here. Let's not fall off this time. I'm trying to think. What if I shoot something? Oh, I see. Once it fills up with water, I run. Let's go. There we go. That was that was pretty cool. Then we go. Yes, ma'am. Jumping on those things kind of scare me sometimes because I always think that I'm gonna miss the wire and then just fall, like just straight up plum plummet to my death. Interact. What is this? Down it is. Can I not go up? Down, then up. Down, then up. It is. Let's go, Aloy. We got some upping to do. There's the way up. Yes, but first, I see this, and then I see purple to my left. Pigment, light oxide? That sounds... Weird. Climb, Aloy, climb. I want some blue gleam. I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Then let's do that then, Aloy. You're you're the master of this. Can I just Okay. I was wondering if I could just come in this direction, but I guess I could. Alright, ready? Hope you're ready, Aloy. Let's go. Perfect. I like that little puzzle. It's actually really cool. Hold on, I want what's in this box just because of the blaze. That was four more blaze. So what's next in this? Oh god, oh god, oh, oh god. That was scary. Hurry up, fill up with water. This is a cool little contraption. Whoa, I almost fell. God, this is gorgeous. And I kind of feel bad for Aloy because she's in like, like her, her, she's not fully covered. And I'm sure sh fuck. <laughs> oh my god, that was so bad. No, but I feel bad for her because it's like freezing outside and she's like not fully covered. So I kind of feel bad that I chose this outfit for her. I do have another outfit that I bought though off camera. Uh, do I have to do this all over again? I do. Now how do I cross this one? Well, that's unfortunate. Luckily, it's not too hard. And drop. I still want to get that purple thing. It's not even here anymore. Crap, that sucks. Oh, wait, it's already looted. Okay, then. I like how fast she climbs. I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Yep. Okay. If we're just filling up. Perfect. And go. <laughs> Perfect. Let's actually go ahead and just loot again. I think we got okay, we got four blaze out of that. Excellent. Oh wait. 
I almost missed this again because I missed it the first time. I think those things might give me a checkpoint. I'm not entirely sure though. Probably not. Run. Perfect. Gotta keep an eye out for those ritualistic things. Alright, let's... Oh, that scared me, dude. Oh, no. Oh, hell nah. What is that? Exaggerating. That's a bear. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. That's literally a bear. I'm excited. And terrified both at the exact same time. Is there anything I could potentially get over here? No. Besides frostbite. I think we're I think we're here. Yay, we got a campfire. Where is it? I want it. Oh, that sounds scary. We're definitely activating this campfire like ASAP. Hold on. It's another one of those things. Let's go ahead and do that. How much blaze do I have? 50. Better than what I had before. Control tower. Oh, she looks sick right here, dude. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. is ginormous destroy the old or override the tower kill the frost claw well first of all where is it is that is that it Okay. How do I... Okay, this is gonna be hard. God, this thing is hard. What is weakness? Please get away from me. Come on, let's go. They said this was weakness. Oh, crap. What's up, buddy? Shoot him in his ass. Get away from me, please. Oh. You didn't expect them. Oh, fuck. 
Whoa, that thing is freaking fast. Oh no, I'm stuck. I don't know where it is. Oh my god. What's up, bro? Well, running away is the way to go here. The stomach is definitely a weak point for him, though. I think it's up top. What's up? No! This thing is absolutely terrifying, by the way. Come on. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. What did I do? Oh my god. I want to search this guy. Down. Spear yeah, damage coil. There, which means I gotta climb. Hold on, let's. Nothing that I absolutely need, but I definitely want to get my stuff back up. Yeah, I think we're golden. So it said up, or she said up. Oh my god, I gotta go way up there. How do I get up there? I wonder if she saw me fight this thing. Haha, -ha, there's a cave. You didn't see that. Or you didn't realize I was gonna use the cave, did you? No room. Yeah, that's fine. Dude, I'm almost topped off. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, duh, there's climbing stuff. Be able to get up there. Come on, baby, let's do this. Woohoo! Yeah, we're golden. All we gotta do is climb. This makes me want to play Nathan, uh, not Nathan Drake, but uh, Uncharted for some reason. And. She, Araya, climbed all of this too? She's a, she's a monster. I guess that's why the shamans are highly regarded. Before you even breathe out. Okay, so that thing is broken. So I gotta go around. Um, oh, there's a rope. So let's go ahead and continue climbing because we're going to definitely have to climb up that rope and then run straight across it. Is that a... Is that a dead machine? This must be the shrine Nell Tuke was talking about. Yeah, this is... So this I is Blue Gleam. Okay. Blue Gleam is a rare and valuable resource traded to... Specialized merchants for extremely powerful weapons and armor. Yeah, I noticed those things are freaking awesome. I just don't know where all the blue gleam would be. 
And it seems like it's gonna be traveling light. hard to find. Antuk said Ray went past the shrine into the mountain. I better take those stairs. Ah, go. <laughs> How does she know what stairs are? Like by name. I feel like there's something over here. No, there isn't. Alright. So one thing's for sure. I need to keep an eye out for blue gleam. As much as humanly the possible. Door. Maybe Ori is inside. Maybe. Aurea, where you be at? Um. Okay, we're not gonna listen to that, but I want to keep it here anyways. I mean, I'm gonna collect them as much as possible anyways. Strange equipment. What was this place? I don't know. I don't know. So this is the way I'm supposed to go, but let's check the other side first. Oh, there's nothing over here. Never mind. Never mind. What's in here? There's that. What else could be in here? Yeah, there's nothing else, but I did see this. And I want to see what's on the other side. You never know. Look at that. Bunch of lore stuff that I could probably listen to later. Oh my god, Blevins. <laughs> I like it. Uh, power right. cable. Something over here. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be at. Did I accidentally stumble into the right location? Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. So let's override it then. Something. Okay, not gonna lie, that was pretty cool. Um. So, I think this needs to get turned around. These things turn, changing the flow of light. All right. So this thing definitely needs to turn clockwise, and then this one needs to be turned. All right. Counterclockwise. The doors open. That was easy. Super easy. It's funny because I didn't even see the map marker here, but I kind of stumbled into the right location, which is pretty epic. I love it when everything just falls in place like that. I hate it when I get lost in a like a like a spot or whatever, and it turns out to be something so stupid and easy. Hold on, did I? That looks cool, not gonna lie. All right, let's open this door and see what's up. But if we have to do all this to get in. Where's Aurea then? I think I like this route. Oh no, wait. Oh wait, never mind. I thought I could climb up there. Let's go up. Can I not go up that way? There we go. That should do the trick. We have a lot of climbing to do. You know what, seriously, dude? I would literally pee myself climbing this. It's frozen. It's on metal, frozen metal. Uh, I'm dressed not for the weather. I'm scared of heights, bro. I would, I would literally pee myself climbing this. Fresh air ahead. These are some gigantic shafts. 
All right, looks like we got everything. What's over here? Oh Again. snap! Campfire discovered. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Maybe. Where's the campfire though? But that would imply that people's been here. Looks like oh, I see it. Those stairs. That was, a, that was actually low-key kind of scary. I really thought I was going to fall for some reason. Perfect. And we should be able to rest at the campfire, no problem, at this point. Let's take a look around, though. Nope. Nothing. And... Let's warm her up a little bit. Man, I feel bad for Ayla. Hold on, I think I have... Another outfit. I did buy another outfit. What does this do? It looks warmer than what I'm wearing. Uh, again, shock. Well, mine does fire, and I feel like there's a lot more fire damage here. 50 fire damage. This is just shock damage. But I think these two are for... Okay, so this really just does fire resistance. Screw it. I'm putting this on. Can I put anything on it? Modify outfits. What do I have? Ranged attacks. Melee, melee. I could do fire weave. What is this? Freeze weave. 24. 24. Yeah, let's do this. And then on the other one, we'll just do... Freeze. At least this way should be warmer. I'm still not... I'm not much higher prepared for this. Ray must be close. Here somewhere. Data pad. This is one of those text ones. Hold on, I gotta I gotta look. Just to make sure we got everything. There's nothing in here. You fail me, game. Ooh, data pad. This is a voice one. Is that everything? Let's go let's actually go in here. You never know. Uh yeah, there's nothing in here at all. I think this just wants me to go to my objective. Knock, knock. <laughs> this outfit is kind of ugly. I don't like it. But hey, whatever. At least she's warmer than what, a, what she was before. I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak! A whisper is all I ask. To guide me. How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. Magic. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Oh! I really like this. This is cool. Mm -hmm. But I'll bet the goal is the same. Get the light back to the source. Okay. 
So, well, first things first, this thing needs to be... Oh, wait. Oh, this one's a lot more complicated. Well, first things first. Okay. Well, let's spin this one. Oh, I spinned it the wrong way. Oh, well. Okay, so then that goes in that direction. Then we'll spin this clockwise, and we're going to have to move over here. I think I messed this up, actually. Yeah, I did. I think... I think it's got to go the other way. But no, it can't. So maybe it's this one that needs to spin? The opposite direction, perhaps? Well, that goes back in that direction. I think this might be... I think this might be better. Okay. No, but then this one... Yeah, I think so. Okay, I think I'm on the right track for once. This one is definitely a lot more complicated. So then that one goes over here. Okay. Uh, no, that completes it that direction is that it oh no it's not because it goes back over there up oh, wrong way is this is this it no This is, this has got to be the last one. Right here. Bingo. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is that Hades? Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need you. No, I will not submit. Orea, the demon is what was that? You brought the spirit's voice back. What was that? You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? I'm Aloy. What do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Oh, well, since you want to tell me all you can, let's start with Silence. I was wondering if you knew anything about a man named Silence. I think he's Banuke, or at least he looks that way. When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow, or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. But it will not come without cost. Oh, believe me, I know. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. The Conclave? A gathering of honored shamans in Banor. Silence is not to be discussed outside that circle. Why? I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that I cannot do. Okay, well then, tell me about the spirit. 
He seemed to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Werak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drift, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer, lost like me. Oh, follow? The spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me, but I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. Um, the spirit wanted to help? What did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt, incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. C okay, so slow it down. You're just throwing a bunch of brand new things to me that I have no idea what you're talking about, okay? So explain what this communion is. You had a communion with the spirit. Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Uh, what is this spirit anyways? Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. You know what I like about this game? Like, even though Aloy has a better understanding on what all these machines are than most of these people, she doesn't interrupt their faith or their belief, right? And it's interesting to see the dynamic between Aloy and all these other tribes, and then all of the individual tribes individually have their own theory on what life is based off of their own current understanding. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, is there new stuff on silence? About silence? I've told you all I can. <clears throat> There's nothing more I can say. Well, that's nice. All right, the daemon. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. <sighs> she told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the daemon and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. The last time? What kept you from the spirit after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. Uh, you returned? You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. 
Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Well, thank you. So let's go to Thunder's Drum. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an <laughs> idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter, and I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratak couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me? Challenge Aratak? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. <laughs> Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. But it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help, trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. If you say so. How? Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Oh yes. Take it. You may find it useful. Oh yes, I want weapons. I want weapons. I want, I want, I want. May I have it, please? Uh, took the Shaman's Path. Uh, survived the Shaman's Path uh, and found a Rose Retreat. Very nice. Wait, did I pick up the weapon? Dude, I got six blue gleams. For the Werak? Hold on, what's the weapon? Uh, maybe it's under here? There was one called the Extraordinary Box or something? Um... Special items, maybe? There goes the Blue Gleam. I don't know. I don't know where the the weapon is.